Hey guys, we are out here in New England Mountains and today we're gonna be doing the New England Mountains Super Guide. We are gonna go over everything you need to know to hunt all 15 species, including hotspot maps for every single species at the end of each segment. And this video will be broken down into chapters. Now guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute favorite species is to hunt on this map and we're gonna head straight into it. And we are going to start with the best loadout for the New England Mountains. So when I hunt here and I want to hunt absolutely everything on the map, this is what I bring with me. I have the 300 and that's for moose and black bears. Now you don't actually have to have the 300. You can get away with the 308, but I prefer to have the 300. Then we have the 308 or any 4 to 8 rifle will do just fine. You can carry the regular 243 if you have space or you can just carry the 243 Arquamo. There are a lot of class 2 species on on this map and then I do have the catchatory 12 gauge shotgun now I do have the pack mule skill that's why it says 23 kilograms the pack mule skill gives you an extra three kilograms worth of space without making any additional sound so I would also probably bring the virant 22 now I have all my ammo with me I just have the Hyperion I'm fine with that and then these are all the callers for this map. We have the Grunt Collar, the Moose Collar, the Predator Distress Fawn Collar, the Jackrabbit Collar, the Raccoon Squall Collar, and the Wild Turkey Mouth Collar. Then I have with me the Apex View and the Gen Zero Night Vision Binoculars, and that is what I would carry if I'm just keeping it at 20 kilograms, but I do have three more because, again, the Pack Mule skill, but that will definitely get you by. Let's continue. Okay, the first species we're gonna have a look at for today's guide is moose. And there are an insane amount of moose drink zones on this map for moose. There are over 200 if you can believe it. And there's more coming in right there. So best weapons for hunting for moose. I like to use the 300. You can use any four to eight as moose are class eight. It'll just take a lot longer for them to die. You can also use the 338, but any four to eight, and any seven to nine will do for moose. Their max weight is 620 kilograms or 1,367 pounds. So that is what you're looking for in a max weight track. And we do have the moose collar and moose scent to attract them. Now we do have great one moose as well, which would be 10 fabled. And with the great one moose, you can get them in a common fur type as well as six different rare fur types and the regular rares. You can also get them in albino, melanistic and piebald. So there are a lot of variations for the Great One Moose. Now I like to hunt them in their drink zone and moose drink from 1200 to 1600 on every map that has moose. Let's see if we can take this guy right here. And I do love the sound of the 300. Did I not get him? <laughs> oh dear. How about you? Probably not. Let's go have a look. Ah, I think, I think we got him. Now the common fur types for moose include tan brown, light brown, and dark brown. They do have three rare variations which include piebald, which is considered to be rare, and albino and melanistic, both of which are considered to be very rare. Especially albino. Man, I cannot spawn an albino bull moose to save my life. <laughs> and it's pretty amazing, even with a shot from the 300, you still, with a single long shot, can track them for quite a while. But here he is, and that was a good shot. Beautiful. So diamond for moose is 274.99, so that is what you need for a diamond. Beautiful. Let's have a look at that hotspot map. So these are all of my personal moose zones. I have close to 200, but basically you need to search every piece of water on the map to find all of your moose drink zones. They are everywhere. And every hotspot map from today's guide will be posted to my Discord and the link is below the video. The next species we're gonna have a look at is whitetail deer. Now whitetail go to level three, they can make diamond at level two and level three. And of course we do have great one whitetail, which are 10 fabled. Now whitetail are pretty much evenly distributed everywhere on the map. There aren't quite as many whitetail zones as there are moose drink zones, but there should be around 80 drink zones for whitetail deer. They are class four species and their max weight track is 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. And they drink from eight until 12 on every map that has whitetail, except for Rancho where they drink from eight to 11. Now the best weapons for whitetail are, I would say the 30 odd six, the M1, 303 and the 308, but you can use any four to eight rifle. Come on and die. <laughs> Took three shots, he's going down. Beautiful, make that four. And we took two of them. 
Now there are collars for white-tailed deer, which include the buck snort wheeze collar, the deer bleat, and the grunt collar. The best of which is the grunt collar because it gets the most range. And there's another zone. Now the common variations for whitetail include brown, dark brown, tan, and red brown. And the rares include piebald, which is rare, and albino and melanistic, both which are considered to be very rare. Now if you're looking for a great one whitetail track, that track would be 110 kilograms or 242 pounds. And splat. So this is a good spot for whitetail. I actually have three drink zones for whitetail on this lake and we are in the bottom left-hand corner. Beautiful, we have a gold, 231's a pretty nice one. And diamond for whitetail is 255.09. Let's have a look at that hotspot map. And a special shout out to Alexi for sharing her whitetail zones. And as you can see guys, they are evenly distributed all over the map. So every piece of water needs to be checked for your whitetail zones. The next species we are gonna have a look at are black bears. Now black bears go to nine legendary, that is their max level, and nine is generally what you're looking for when you are looking for a diamond. It is supposed to be possible to pull a diamond out of an eight mythical, but it isn't gonna happen very often. Generally, you are looking for a nine. Now, black bears can be great ones, so we do have them also in 10 fabled. Now, my favorite weapon when hunting for black bears is the 300. There's a five there. You can also use the 338, but because they're class seven, you can also use any four to eight rifle. So you can definitely get away with using the 308 or the 303 or whatever your favorite four to eight rifle is. Now, their max weight is 200. 90 kilograms or 639 pounds but if you're looking for a great one track that track would read 409 kilograms or 901.6 pounds now all bears in the game drink from 20 until zero the collar for black bears is the predator distress fawn collar and it works like a charm we're gonna take this guy out with the 300 how you doing my dude and Splat! He did not go far. Now their common fur types include dark, black, and dusky. Their rare fur types include cinnamon, which is considered to be rare, as well as blonde and brown, both which are considered to be very rare. And here's hoping he is going to make diamond. Oh, and he is a troll! What a ripoff! So diamond for black bear is 22.8. This guy is just a fraction too small. Unfortunately, there is no guarantee when you do find a nine that it is going to score diamond. They definitely can troll you. But we took a really beautiful shot. We got double long with the 300 there from 180 meters. And we're gonna have to keep looking for that diamond black bear. Now let's have a look at that hotspot map. Black bear drink zones can be found literally on any water source on the entire map, so every source of water needs to be checked to find all of your drink zones for black bears. The next species we're gonna have a look at are red fox. Now red fox drink from 17 until 20. They drink at the same time on this map as gray fox do, just in different areas. They are only a class two species. As far as best weapons go, you can use the 243, the Zarza 223, which actually is pretty good on small predators, just not on anything bigger than a class two. I am carrying with me the Arquomo 243, which you will find in the Sidearms DLC. And the nice thing about that weapon is that it only weighs one kilogram, so it fits nicely into any loadout, but you only get the one shot before you have to reload. You can also put any scope on the 243 Cuomo. Now the collar for Red Fox is the Predator Jackrabbit collar and the max weight track for a Red Fox is 15.4 kilograms or 33 pounds. We're gonna go for this level five female and females can get very, very big. Now because they're so tiny, you really wanna be careful when you are taking your shot. You wanna be perfectly zeroed. And splat we did a good job she did all right here she is and that was a double long shot that absolutely demolished her but diamond for red fox is 14.05 generally they do have to be a nine legendary to make diamonds i have never seen an eight mythical but it is supposed to be possible just doesn't happen too often so most of the time you are looking for a nine now their common fur types include red orange and dark red and the rares include piebald which is rare albino and melanistic, both of which are considered to be very rare. So as you can see here on the map, red fox are only found on the left half of the map. So check every source of water on the left half for all of your red fox drink zones. The next species we're gonna have a look at is gray fox. 
Now, Gray Fox drink at the same time as Red Fox, which is 17 to 20. They do go to nine legendary, but I have actually seen eight mythicals make diamond quite often. So take good care when you're shooting any eights or nine legendary Gray Fox. And females can make diamond too. I actually have a diamond female Gray Fox in my lodge. They're a class two species. So the 243 is gonna be great for Gray Fox as well as the Zarza 223 and the Arquomo 243, which we are going to use once again. Now your max weight track for Gray Fox is 6.8 kilograms or 15 pounds. Beautiful, and she is down. So the collar for red or gray fox is the predator jackrabbit collar, and their common fur types include two-tone gray and red. They have four different rare variations, which include piebald, leucistic, albino, and melanistic. Oh, actually, we just were lucky to make that shot. We did get left long, but that was a little on the high side. So diamond for gray fox is 6.43. And so basically, you're gonna find gray fox on the right-hand side of the map, and you're gonna find red fox on the left-hand side of the map. But let's have a look at that hotspot map. So literally the right hand side of the map has gray fox. So check every water source there for your drink zones and the river is a hotspot. The next species we're gonna have a look at is the common raccoon. Now raccoons drink here in New England mountains from three until six. So you're gonna need those night vision gen zero binoculars. They're a class two species. And because they are, the only weapons you can really use on them are the 243, the 223, the Zarza 223. You also can use the Kalman and the 243 pistol. Now they go to five medium. They can make diamond at level four and level five. And there is a collar for them, which is the raccoon squall collar. This is it right here. And it actually has a range of 500 meters, which is pretty crazy. So their max weight track is 13 kilograms or 28 pounds. There's our buddy. So he is not max weight. Now I don't have much of an angle here, but I'm gonna try. Here we go. Oh, and splat, we got him. So raccoons actually drink at the same time as bobcats, but basically raccoons are found on the bottom half of the map and bobcats are found on the top half of the map. I actually love it when species drink at the same time. It doesn't happen that often anymore in Call of the Wild, but this map does it quite a bit. So your common fur types for raccoon include gray, brown, and blonde, and their rare fur types include blonde, piebald, gray piebald, albino, and melanistic, all of which are considered to be very rare. And here is our little dude here. All right, so he is a gray, that is a common. Aren't they adorable? And diamond for common raccoon is 12. That was actually a pretty sweet shot. So this is where we are, right in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, and that's a great spot for raccoons. So literally the bottom half of the map have raccoons. I have put red circles around where I have found some hot spots, but there are also a lot of zones along the river. The next species we're gonna have a look at are bobcats. Now, bobcats drink at the same time as raccoons, so they drink from three to six. Bobcats are basically found on the top half of the map, whereas raccoons are found on the bottom. They go to nine legendary. A nine is what you're looking for. If you are looking for a diamond, I have never seen an eight make it. It is supposed to be possible, to, but does not happen very often. So your max weight track for bobcats is 45 kilograms or 99 pounds, and their collar is the predator jackrabbit collar. Now they're a class three species, so you can't use any four to eight on them. So I like to use the 243 on them. I find the Zarza 223 is a little on the weak side. And where did he go? Oh, beautiful and splat, he dead. So their common fur types include tan, red, gray, and brown. They have three rare fur types, blue, which is considered to be rare, melanistic, and albino, both which are considered to be very rare. So blue is rare and it never used to be. That changed with a couple updates ago. So diamond for Bobcat is 27.68. That was a very sweet shot. Look at that shot. And that was the 243. So right now I am on the river, but basically you're gonna find them on the top half of the map, but let's have a look at that map. Bobcats can be found all along the river on the top half of the map and on any water source on the top half. The next species we're gonna have a look at are coyotes. Now coyotes drink here in New England from zero to three, so exclusively in the dark. Sometimes you will find single zones and sometimes you will have packs of coyotes, but their drink zones are pretty spaced apart, so they're not the easiest to find. Now coyotes are only a class two species, 
So I am hunting them with the 243, but you can also use the Zarza 223, the Coleman, or the 243 pistol. And I like to be perfectly zeroed. Now I have a terrible wind here. Now the max weight track for coyotes is 27 kilograms or 59 pounds and their common fur types include gray, brown, orange, light gray, and dark gray. They have three rare fur types and they have piebald which is considered to be rare as well as albino and melanistic both which are very rare fur types. So let's see if we can take one of these little guys out. An insane amount of work goes into these super guides guys so if you are enjoying the video go ahead and hit that like button. Really appreciate it guys. Beautiful, and she went splat. So the collar for coyotes is the Predator Jackrabbit collar, and they do go to nine legendary, and that is definitely what you're looking for when you are looking for a diamond. And there she is, beautiful double lung shot, and diamond for coyote is 56.87. So coyotes are found on the bottom half of the map, so check every water source below the middle river. The next species we're gonna have a look at are golden eye ducks. Now, golden eye ducks go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three, and their diamond trophy rating is 1,230. So whenever you find a level two that has 1,230 within the estimate, that is a diamond potential duck, and it is one you should definitely shoot. Now, as far as shooting ducks goes, I like to carry with me the Virant 22 because it has 10 shots, but you can also use the Zarza 22 or any shotgun with birdshot. I am carrying also with me the Cacciatore 12 gauge shotgun. And I guess you could also use the Coleman. Now when I'm shooting ducks with the Virant, I like to take my shots from exactly 150 meters. I like to be zeroed perfectly. I always spot every single duck just to make sure I take out the biggest ones first. I am always looking for that diamond. There's nothing diamond potential here. So we're gonna put a waypoint right in the middle of the green spotting circle and I'm gonna make it right up to 150 meters before I take my shot, because I'm gonna zero to 150 with the Virant. Now, Golden Eyes max weight is 1.3 kilograms or 2.87 pounds. And I missed, a swing and a miss. So if you miss, they go alert. Don't shoot again right away. Just wait for them to calm down. Just take a few seconds and take your second shot. That's how not to spook them. I tell you, being five to 10 meters off will ruin your shot. Beautiful, got them there. Now, even when they say alarmed, as long as you don't shoot again, they will calm back down so that once they go calm again, you can continue shooting. And this is how you get as many ducks as possible without spooking them off. So there is no collar for GoldenEye, but there are decoys. You can get Drake and Hen decoys and you can set them up anywhere. And they are pretty much evenly distributed everywhere on the map and they can be hunted at any time. They are always either feeding or resting. Now, once you shoot a duck, just sit tight. It will float to exactly where you were when you shot it. It just won't do it super fast. So their commons include black and gray. Then for rare plumages, we have dark eclipse and leucistic. And for very rare, there is hybrid. Now, often when you do find one type of duck around a lake, you will find usually quite a few. We also have green winged teal here. And I also did spot some mallards when I was coming in. And there they are. And here he is. So there we go, diamond is 1230. Beautiful, let's have a look at that map. So I have put circles everywhere where I have found golden eye ducks, but the red circles are the very best spots, but you're gonna find them all over the map. The next species we're gonna have a look at are mallard ducks. Now mallards are also a class one species and they can be hunted at any time of day. They will always be resting or feeding. Now you are looking for a level three or a large level two when you are looking for a diamond. And and we got them. The max weight track for mallards is 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds. And their common fur types include piebald, brown hybrid, and black brown. Piebald is not rare for mallards. So the collar for mallards is the Beacon Deluxe Duck Collar and there are drake and hen decoys that you can set up and that is a great way to farm ducks. Oh, and it is a piebald. Not a rare, but still very beautiful. So diamond is actually 19.61, not 19.6. And that was a 167 meter shot. And this is where we are. Mallards, golden eye and green winged teal at this lake. Mallards can pretty much be found on any lake on the map, but you won't find them too much on the river systems and the red circles are the hot spots. Now guys, I'd quickly like to show you a hot spot for feed zones. If you actually go to the Red Leaves Cabin, this is where we are on the map, right there. There are all kinds of feed zones around here. I'm just getting warmed up. 
I just came out here and I have had warning calls from turkeys. I've run into white-tailed deer. Bobcat just yelled at me. And I also got a warning call from a red fox. So all kinds of species are out here. I even spooked out some green winged teal. So this little area here, definitely check for feed zones. The next species we're gonna have a look at are Eastern wild turkeys. And look at all of the turkeys, oh my goodness. So turkeys are a class one species. So you can use the Virant 22, the Zarza 22, the Coleman, or any shotgun with birdshot. They can make diamond at level two and level three and their max weight is 11 kilograms. So this guy is a max weighter or 24 pounds. They feed from four to 11 as well as 14 to 20 and they rest from 11 to 14. And we're gonna try and take a few of them with the shotgun but I really want this max weight because it could be a diamond. So they don't have a drink time and they do have two different collars. They have the turkey crow collar, which actually causes the turkeys to do a mating call. There we go. So they're, they're doing the mating call because of the turkey crow collar. And then we do have the mouth collar as well, which actually gets them to come to you. Yep, here they come. And they're just running. Man, those collars work pretty crazy well. So they do have decoys. They have strutting and sentry decoys, which you can set up anywhere there are wild turkeys and that will definitely bring them in. And their common fur types include light brown, bronze, light bronze, and brown. They have three different rare plumage types, which include leucistic, which is rare, and albino and melanistic, both are which considered to be very rare. Add splash, we'll give you two. Would you like to die too? And you too? Oh, how about you? Anybody else? Oh, 4.41. So 4.62 is diamond for turkey. He's not big enough, but always take out those max weight estimates because sometimes they will make diamond. So Eastern wild turkeys are found on the top half of the map, but that hot spot that I showed you is loaded with turkey feed zones. The next species we're gonna have a look at are green winged teal. Now green winged teal go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three and they are a class one species. So just like all the rest of the ducks, you can use the Virant 22, the Zarza 22, the Coleman or any shotgun with birdshot. Their max weight is 3.3 kilograms or 7.2 pounds and their common plumage type is light green and the rares include albino and piebald both which are considered to be very rare. So their one duck where piebald is actually rare. Now let's see if we can take this two down. Add splat, beautiful. Now we wait for him to float. Now the collar for green wing teal is the Eurasian teal collar and they do have drake and hen decoys. And you can pretty much hunt them at any time of day. They will always either be feeding or resting. They are absolutely beautiful. So diamond for green wing teal is 480 and this is actually the only new species that was added to the New England map when it came out. So green winged teal will be found at pretty much every lake on the map. I have put red circles on the hot spots, but not so much on the river. The next species we're gonna have a look at are Eastern Cottontail Rabbits. See if I can catch up with this little dude. They are a class one species, so you can use the same weapons that you use on ducks. They go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three. And I believe they have to be female to make diamond. Here it is. Okay, let's take it. Okay. He dead, beautiful. So their max weight track is 2.1 kilograms or 4.6 pounds and they rest from zero to four and 13 to 1700. And they feed from four to seven, 10 to 13 and 17 to 21. And diamond for Eastern Cottontail Rabbit is 1.97. Their common fur types include gray, light gray, light brown and brown. Their rare fur types include leucistic, which is rare as well as albino and melanistic, both which are considered to be very rare. So this is where we found this guy. Lots of zones along the river. So Eastern Cottontail Rabbits can be found literally anywhere on the map, but that one feed zone is an amazing hotspot for them. The next species we're gonna have a look at is bobwhite quail. And let me tell you, I just found some and they are fleeing, so I'm going after them. Bobwhite quail and pheasants have to be shot while in the air or you will get a grounded score, which means you will get no score at all. Come on, fly, baby. You, you need to fly. Come on, come on. Get them off the ground is really not easy. Come on, my dude, you can do it. Here he goes. 
We got them, beautiful. So diamond for Bob White Quail is 238. This one was a big one, holy. Very close to diamond. They do go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three, but they are definitely very challenging to hunt. So I like to use the Virant 22 or the Zarza 22 or any shotgun with birdshot and you can use the Coleman as well. They feed from four to seven and 13 to 1600 and rest from 10 to 13 and 20 to zero. And their max weight track is 0 0.25 kilograms or 0 0.55 pounds. So Bob White Quail will be found on the right half of the map, but the river is a really good spot. They tend to put a lot of feed zones along the riverside. We have a pheasant here. Can we get it? I don't know. But that is the last species for today's guide, ringneck pheasants. They go to level three, they can make diamond at level two and level three, and they do have to be shot while they are airborne or you will get no score. They're a class one species, so again, you wanna be using the Virant 22, the Zarza 22, the Kalman, or any shotgun with birdshot. Now we're actually in a hot spot for them all along the side of this lake, really good spot for ringneck pheasants. And right now we are looking for their eight to 11 zone. There they are. The common plumage type for ringneck pheasants is molten gray and brown and the rares include leucistic albino and melanistic, all which are considered to be very rare. Where are you going? No, 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 easy. Stop running. No. I'm never gonna get it. No, especially when you don't reload. But diamond for pheasant is 20.29. Their max weight track is three kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds. They feed from four to 11, 14 to 21, and rest from 11 to 14 and 21 to four. But they're not easy and this is a very thick map. So if they flush while you're in the trees, good luck to ya. So ringneck pheasants are basically found on the left-hand side of the map. I have put red areas where you will find some hot spots and there are some nice wide open areas to hunt them. Currently guys, I have about half of the maps done for super guides and I am working on the rest. Click right here for the updated super guide playlist. Thanks for watching guys and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.